Okay, so welcome everyone. I am Violet Ayala, the founder of Fem City, and we do this series every single month. Get to know Fem City. It's an opportunity for people to just learn about our vibe and what our energy and like what our program is all about, and also to ask some questions. So I want to make sure you guys always know that we're totally accessible. So if you're watching the replay and you're like, oh gosh, I missed it, you can join me again next month. I literally do this every month, unless something happens, unless like I lose Wi-Fi or actually I think maybe next month I'm in Portugal with our retreat. So I'm not sure, but I usually am doing this once a month. So I'm just going to share the why and how I started Fem City. And then I was going to talk a little bit about our different programs, because that was a question that we got in the um in the form. And then the benefits, you know, like I'm going to share like the top three benefits of like ways that I would use the membership. And then we'll have some time for Q and A as well. So use that time to ask me any question. It is recorded. So, you know, I would say to ask appropriate questions, like, you know, like things that you're okay for people to hear. Um, if you are shy, and this is more for the people that are watching the replay. If you are shy and you have a question, you can always email us and I will always respond. Um, I can even create a video for you if you'd like. So I just want to make sure that everyone knows that they're welcomed here at Fem City. So I started Fem City 15 years ago. I cannot believe that. I cannot believe that. I'm saying it and it's just like, what? I started it because years prior to that, I lived in Raleigh, North Carolina, and I owned a Pilates studio. And the reason why my Pilates studio was incredibly successful was because of a group of women that I was networking with. It was called Chicks and Biz. It was started by a friend of mine, Elizabeth Balecki, who has since moved, I think, to Wisconsin. And I loved this group. We would get together once a month and literally just share like information, knowledge. But at the end of the day, we all got to know each other and referred business to each other and sent leads over. And my Pilates studio was always number one. It was always sold out. We had a waiting list. We were always featured as like best studio in all those newspapers. And I really think it was because of my support circle. These women were just my everything. So I moved back home to Miami and started working at the Four Seasons doing the marketing PR. Had no idea. I didn't have any friends here, even though I'm from Miami, you know, 12 years had passed. And so this was before LinkedIn, before, you know, YouTube, before Facebook, I'd lost all connection with everyone that I knew. And so I would go to all the networking events, which in Miami are fabulous, but they're pricey also like a hundred dollars, hundred fifty dollars a ticket. And I kept growing a little bit, uh, kind of discouraged because every time I would go, it seemed like I didn't fit in. It seemed like I, you know, if I, if I didn't have this handbag or if I didn't look the certain way, or if I didn't have a certain position that I just never felt like I connected. And so the last draw, like my last, which started a series of aha moments was going to a female networking group. It was a hundred dollars a ticket. And this was 12. No, this was 15 years ago, 16 years ago, hundred dollars a ticket, which is really expensive for a little piece of chicken, a little thing of salad. And the speaker was a male dentist. And I got so upset because I thought I am here for, you know, to empower other women. And I have two friends that are dentists that are females and they should have been on the stage. They should have been doing the presentation. So I got really upset and I was like, that's it. I'm not going to go. I'm not doing this anymore. So I asked a couple of girlfriends that I met along the way. I said, Hey, I'm going to start this little small group. We're just going to be 20 women. We're just going to meet once a month, kind of doing what I had done in what I had belonged to in Raleigh, North Carolina small group, 20 women. Let's just meet once a month just to chat about business. You know, there was no format by the way. And they said, yeah, I love it. So I started Fem City Miami. The first event was awful. <laughs> it was like, it was a great venue. We had great food because I always wanted to have like great food. I was like, if I'm going to pay, if I'm going to take off time from work, it better be like super yummy food. So we took time off and um, we just stared at each other because I had no format. We were just like, like just staring at each other. It was like a really bad baby shower. You know, if you've ever went to like a really bad baby shower, a really bad bridal shower, it was like that. So the second time I hosted a Fem City event, I did the, op I did like went the other direction. I had like two speakers. Everyone had a commercial, like a two minute pitch. And of course that was like way too much, but we also had 60 women show up to that one. So the first one that I thought was so awful, I had no format. I had no speaker. Everyone loved it. It was the vibe, the energy that they loved. And so when we did the second one, everyone loved that. So I continued doing that. It was 2009. I kept doing that until November. My son at the time got me on this new platform called Facebook. 
And he was like, uh, so I didn't know what Facebook was, but remember when Facebook started, we would add all the pictures. Like, do you remember like all the pictures, like even the ones with like awkward smiles? Like, so I was adding all these pictures of our events. And from that, I had so many friends reach out and say, Hey, I love this group. Can I, can I get one in my community? Like, who do I talk to about this? And the first couple of times I kind of like shoot it away. I was like, we're just having lunch. Like anyone can do that. It's literally lunch. Like just grab your girlfriends, have lunch. But they saw more in those pictures than I even did at that time. And so after the 10th time, you know, like the universe, God, Jesus, spirit, you know, like bops you over the head. It was the 10th time. And someone at our event pulled me aside and said, I drive 40 minutes to attend from City Miami lunches. It's always sold out. I think you're being very selfish for not starting a chapter in Fort Lauderdale. And so that was the first time I had ever been called selfish. At the time I had three kids, three different schools, a full-time job, and I was sitting on six different boards. I was raising money for nonprofits along the way. So no one had ever called me selfish, but it was like that, that last straw, like that next aha moment. So I was like, you know what? I think there's something here. I think that people see something more than I do. So let me just dive in. I did a focus group. I asked questions. I gathered a manual. We launched Fort Lauderdale as our first chapter. It did incredibly well. It was like the same vibe, the same energy. It was just amazing. You had women of all age brackets. You had women of all color of skin, religion, height, weight, industry experiences. Like it was such a beautiful group. And I thought, well, it makes sense. It works out because it's Fort Lauderdale. Like, you know, it's like kind of like our sister city. Let's try something really far away. So we tried Philadelphia at the time. I had never really been to Philadelphia except for shopping at Ikea. So I didn't know anybody there. And she launched it. Cheyenne did an amazing job. She launched from city Philadelphia. It felt the same. It had the same love. It had the same just vibe, the energy. And so from that, we ended up launching more and more chapters. So I would launch like four or five and then sit and ask the members, like, what did you think? Are we still like, do you still feel love? Do you feel still like warm, you know, community vibe and all that stuff. And then I'd launch a couple more and then pause. Hey, what do you guys think? Is it still good? Like I never wanted Fem City to be like so big that it, it lost its soul. It lost its core, which is love, unity, community, collective energy here to help each other. That safe space. So here we are, um, the pandemic, we closed a lot of chapters during the pandemic. We um, opened a couple of them after the pandemic. We are not as, as many as we had before the pandemic, but we are in about 60 cities right now. Um, our chapters are all a little bit different in a sense, like some meet on Sundays, some meet Thursday night, some meet Tuesday mornings. It, it really is representative of the members on the ground. So whatever the members say, hey, you know, like for instance, when we had Charlotte up and running, they could only do dinner Thursday night. That was like, that's their thing. Miami loves brunches at 10 o'clock. So not eight o'clock, 10 o'clock brunches or social like happy hours or movie nights. So we've done like, we rented out the movie theater for um, House of Gucci. We had a great time. We giggled the entire time at the movie theater. We've done, uh, we're doing now a little happy hour with a community partner next week. So every city is a little bit different, but the core is the same. It's always about creating a safe space for women. They can come feel loved, supported. It is not about I'm better than you or you're better than me. It is we have value and we have worth. And as I rise, you rise too. And then we all rise together. So that's the principle of Fem City. That's why I started it. I never, never, ever, ever want women to feel like they don't have a home. Um, sometimes the most heartbreaking emails I get are when women cancel and they say, my husband told me to cancel or someone who says, um, I went to an event and I didn't make any friends. That is the most heartbreaking. So I'll generally reach out to them, you know, see what we can do to be better. Perhaps that moment, you know, like the president was busy or a board member didn't show up who's supposed to be the greeter. So I will reach out to make sure that we are a place for all women. At the end of the day, we're not for everyone. We do, you know, we are um, we are more groovy. <laughs> like we are not intense. We're not aggressive. We're kind of like, yeah, you come and you go if you want, you know, like there's no, you don't have to give a certain amount of referrals. And we're not like only one realtor per group. You know, we believe that there's enough abundance and prosperity for all women, but I understand that that's not for everybody also. You know, some people do want to feel better than everybody else. <laughs> some people do feel they're superior than others. We're not like that. Um, hey, Maureen, so happy that you're here. Um, okay, so let's talk about the vision and um, what we have going on. So during the pandemic, we did start a scholarship program. 
we had so many women that were losing their jobs and um, having to obviously take on the responsibilities of either aging parents or, you know, online learning for their children. So we did start a scholarship program during the summer or during the pandemic, and that is run through our nonprofit. So if you do know someone who cannot afford our membership, which is $15.99 a month, please encourage them to apply to the scholarship. It's really easy. It's at the footer of our website. I will say 100% of women that apply get approved. <laughs> so we're not, you know, we're not like, well, I don't know about that one. Like, we just want Femme City there for everyone. We also have a girls program. Um, it is a, we've done some summer camps for them in the last couple of years. It's a Femme City Girls um, ongoing program. We have classes that we put up there. It's free. Uh, there's no membership as well. That's femcitygirls.org. And that's run through our nonprofit as well. Um, we also have, uh, we have a new corporate membership that's launching September 1st, and that will be for corporate uh, women executive C-suites. And um, we're excited about that as well. We have um, getaways. So we've been doing retreats for over 10 years now. Um, we are now going to start calling them getaways. So we do have a couple planned for next year. We have a mini tour coming up in Nashville, Miami, Toronto, Austin, Chicago, I think those are the five. And then we also probably will have uh, another retreat, getaway, exhale uh, event here in Miami and um, perhaps an international one. I know our members have requested the South of France. So we're working on that as well. And I'm gonna share with you tips. So let's get down to what does FemCity do for me? Like, okay, all that sounds great, but what's in it for me? So at the end of the day, FemCity is all about networking. When you network, you increase your opportunities, you increase your referrals, and therefore you increase money in your pocket. Networking for me has changed my life. It's changed my husband's life. My husband, I mean, he, uh, if there's time, I'll share that story about how powerful networking is. He is where he is today because of the people that he knows. The people that we know are everything. It not only will give you referrals and leads and help you share your business and your brand, but will also serve as your support system. So when you're feeling down, when you didn't get that client, when you're scared to make that cold call uh, for sales, when you have to you know, reach out, do one-on-ones, all those moments that we get so nervous, your core support circle will lift you up and hold you. And that's what the beauty of that network is all about. It also will inspire you. So as you hear stories of other members rising and elevating and asking for more and going for more, it will inspire you as well because you will see them as your sister and you will say, wow, she can do it. I can do it too. I never thought that was even possible. I never knew people were charging that. I never knew people spent like that. When we went on our um, retreat a couple of years ago, I never knew that women could spend like $10,000 on a day shopping. I'd never seen that before in my life. That so changed the way that I see the world. So there are moments like that, that, you know, we see and we go, wow, I didn't even know that was even a thing. I didn't even know that was possible. And then you look at your rates, right? And then you look at like what you're serving. You're like, oh my gosh, I'm only asking a hundred dollars. You know, like there are people there that will spend money. So that's the beauty of the network is to use the network, to be active. Now, if you join FemCity and you never show up for an event, you never post on Facebook, you never uh, go to our virtual networking. You never go to office hours with me, which you get me for free once a month. You can pick my brain. I've been in Success Magazine, Entrepreneur Magazine. I've been featured in Glamour Magazine, Cosmopolitan, Mary Claire, Shondaland. I've done it. I'm here to give you everything I have. So if you don't show up for those, yeah, the membership's not going to work for you. It's just not because we're not going to go into your room to get you out of your bed to pull you in. You got to show up. So here's what I would do to show up. Local events. Show up for a local event. I promise you, they're not gonna be mean to you. You're gonna find love. I know it's scary. You don't know what you're getting into. You don't know these people. Show up for a local event. If you don't have a local chapter that's hosting in real life events, we have a house for you. We have a virtual Canada, we have a virtual US, and we have a virtual international. So international is for women outside of the US and Canada. They're for Costa Rica. They're for women in uh, Berlin, in the UK. Uh, Aruba, our sisters in India. So there is a house for you. So show up for one of those events. The other tip I will share is join us every Wednesday. We have a virtual networking session. It's at 1 p.m. Eastern time. It's going to be the best ROI, return on investment ever. During that time, you will get to know about 20 other women and they will know about you and they're going to love your vibe and they're going to love what you're doing. Reach out to them and do a coffee chat. A coffee chat is a 15, 20 minute 
though it's sometimes it's gone to like three hours, a conversation where they are getting to know you, you're getting to know them and thinking about ways you can work together. So it could be something like this. Hey, Maureen, tell me what you do. And Maureen tells me, da, 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 da. and I say, okay, Maureen, now I'm going to tell you what I do. I go, da, 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 da. And at the end of the day, Maureen and I go, you know what? We don't have a lot of like synergy with our brands, but you know what we can do? We can follow each other on Instagram or we can make friends on Facebook. I'll comment on your posts. You comment on my posts. And that way the algorithms change. It can be something as simple like that. Or it could be, hey, come on to the podcast or let me feature you on my blog or let's go ahead and partner up on this campaign together. So it can be a little bit more in depth as well. So those are the two uh, top two. The third one is I would definitely join me for office hours. It's generally three or four people. It's a safe space. You ask me questions, you pick my brain, you ask for advice, you ask for guidance. I started doing this because I had so many members that were like, hey, can I ask you a quick question? Can I just like, can I just hop on? So they don't want to hire me for the one-on-one, which I totally get. I'm expensive. You know, it's $3.75 an hour. I totally get it. But you have me for free. It's 30 minutes. You can just hop on and ask me a quick question. Hey, I have this situation. What would you do? I have this thing. What's happening? If you are shy and you're scared of asking that question, you can email it to me and I will respond on video without mentioning your name. So again, I want to make sure you always feel that you can always show up, that you are going to be fine and okay and very much loved. So we have 10 minutes left. We had some questions that came in. Let me just review those really quick. And then we can, if you guys have questions for me, um, questions that came in. All right. Why did you start Fem City? I covered that. What was your vision? Covered that. I could use all the help I can get networking both in person and virtually. Love to hear how Fem City can help me with that. I think I covered that. But if you have any questions, if you're watching the replay and you want me to ask, you know, dive in a little bit more, I'm glad to. Networking changed my life. I'm just going to tell you again. Networking is everything. Networking does not have to be you grabbing business cards and putting them in your email. Networking is reaching out and getting to know one new person. You don't have to meet 20 people at an event or at a Fem City virtual session just one person. And then the next time it's two people. It's like little by little, just get to know them, ask them questions. What do you have going on? What's go well, how can I help you? Oh my gosh. If you want someone to be your super fan, ask them, how can I help you? What's something I can do to help you today? They're going to love you. Um, can I promote my business on the Fem City website? So you can promote it in a couple of places. You can promote it on the Facebook group. You can promote it on the forum. And then of course you can buy a featured like business spotlight. Uh, we ran a promo for $75 for the year. I think now it's like 200, which is still super inexpensive, but those are three places that you can promote your business. At the end of the day, it's always going to be people knowing who you are and then falling in love with you. And then we'll refer you. So one thing that I would do is on the Facebook group, as people ask questions and post things, I would go out of your way to like comment, add value, post things that are like, uh, like Sandra from our founder circle, she's great at this. She does social media and branding and websites. And uh, when ChatGPT came out, she was the first one to post, hey, here's ChatGPT in a tutorial. When uh, threads came out from Instagram, she was like the first one to post, here's some tips on threads. Here's some things that you need to know about. What is she doing? She's advertising herself constantly. People are seeing her name there all the time and that she's adding value guess who they're going to think of when they have to hire someone for their website? They're going to think of Sandra because she's added value to that Facebook group. So you don't have to necessarily do it all in person, but just adding value makes people see you, understand your worth, your experience, your knowledge, your wisdom, and they will come to you or they will refer you to other people. So you want to build that trust first. Sometimes people join Fem City, and then within five minutes, they've added 20 sale items to our Facebook group right? I'm so great. Hire me two and T times. Does that work? No, it doesn't work. They don't know you. They're like, who is this person? Just if you start liking as an example, if you just start liking each other's comments, adding love, adding value, when you post your sale, they're going to be like, Oh my gosh, there's that chick that I love. She's always supporting me. She's always rock. She's always like giving me love and value. I'm going to click on it. I'm going to support her back. All of a sudden you have a lead. She's going to fall in love with you. She's going to tell all her friends. All of a sudden you have 20 leads. That's how networking works. So um, those are the only questions I got through the form. Any questions you guys have for me? And if not, we can dance away. Go ahead, Susie Moon. 
Uh, the types of women that are in the groups, are they, um, some are from corporate, some have their own businesses, are some in, you know, direct sales, like what kind of industries are represented? So we're open for, any woman can join. So we have, sometimes we have women that have been um, at home moms for many years and decide they want to start a business or they don't really know, but they just want to do something different. So we have women that have, um, for the most part, I would say like 80% are small business owners. We do have a corporate program that's launching, but the corporate program has its own. They're going to have their own lunch and learns. They're going to have their own networking. They will probably join the group um, totally, but they have their own stuff because we have like executive coaches for them. So that's a whole entire other thing, but it's a nice blend. I will say we have three entry points. We have um, the bulk of our members are around my age. I'm going to be 52. So they're generally either 10 years younger or 10 years older. So that's, that's like the bulk of it age-wise. But we do have three entry points. We see women coming to us um, after college where they're just like, I don't want to work for someone or I don't know what I want. I'm going to show up and just get inspired by these women, get mentored. So that's one. The other bracket is in the mid forties where women are like, I'm done doing what I've done. I'm so going to do something different. So that's another entry point that we see. And then over 60. We see women over 60, like, I'm so over this, or, you know, like I've moved on. I'm going to start that, that purse designing company I wanted to do. I'm going to go into real estate. So those are three entry points that I see that are clear, but the bulk of them are generally 10 years plus and 10 years minus my age. And as far as like industries, you know, it's a blend because we don't, we don't cap it. We don't say, you know, only so many realtors or so many physicians or only so many social media people. It's a really nice blend. And when we started Fem City Miami, we had a table. I used to call it the super smart table because it was a table and it had all the physicians. They would all sit there. They were small business owners and it was two plastic surgeons, uh, two dentists and two plastic surgeons and two dermatologists. And it was interesting when we would do our pitches because I was like, how are they going to do this? You know what I mean? Because they're all sitting together. They're all friends, but they clearly, you know, in the traditional sense, they're all competing. But they all stood up and they shared their energy, their authentic self, and the things that they specialize in. So the dentist would say, I love working with children. Pediatric dentistry is like my jam. Someone else is like, I love root canals. Like, you know what I mean? Like if you have a, a dermatologist, I love fillers. I love looking for moles. So everyone's got their own thing and people will connect with how you share. They'll connect with your energy. So we've never limited that. Um, so it's open to everyone. Thank you. You're welcome. All right. Any other questions you guys have? Uh, hi, yes. Um, I guess I'm wondering when is a good time um, to join, I guess, the global, if you're just doing local chapters, what do you see the difference there for networking? Okay, great question. And I should have covered that. <laughs> so sorry, Stephanie. That's a big question. So we have a program that's, uh, it's called the Founder Circle. It used to be called the Global Program. Uh, we changed the name because we have this international program that's launching and it seemed to conflict, like it seemed to confuse people. So our Founders Circle is a little bit different. So there are three memberships at Fem City. You have a local membership, which is your local city. You have access to the local events. And then of course, all the online, the mentorship, the classes, the library, and then you have the founder circle. The founder circle is a little bit more handholding. It's for people that want my um, connection to them more frequently. So we meet every Monday for accountability. We meet every Wednesday for networking. We do small support circles. We do coffee chats. We do um, round tables. And then we do a, a office hours on Thursday with an expert. So we rotate that expert spot so that our founders in that, well, it's not, they're not all founders, but it's called founder circle because it's me. It's like my little circle. They have the ability to learn from an expert every Thursday. Again, picking their brain without hiring them for an hour, just saying, hey, I'm having this issue with creating a landing page, or I can't figure out how to do my Venmo transactions or my bookkeeping. So we circulate that. So we meet really all the time virtually. So the founder circle, that one's $100 a month. That one's going to be on promo in October. And it's going to be $75 a month. And if you join today, it will prorate it. So even if you're a local member and you decide to upgrade to the founder circle in October with the promo, the system will prorate it. So it will probably be free because if you're paying $15, um, if you, well, if you start doing, 
not free. It will be $15. Yeah, it'll just credit whatever the difference is. The system is set up on your behalf. So anytime you upgrade, it will credit you what you've already paid. So if you paid 150 for a yearly membership, and then you join the founders in October, it might actually not charge you anything if you just join the 150 because you already have $150 in the pot. You know what I mean? So it, it says, oh, she just paid. We're going to go ahead and give her credit for what she paid. I said that the most crazy way possible, but <laughs> you know what I mean, right? Like it, it will prorate on your behalf versus charging you more. And it's a beautiful group. There's like 200 women in that group. And I get a chance to meet with them uh, very often, as I said, like pretty much every other day and any speaking opportunities I get, um, I send them their way, any PR, um, I do classes specifically for them as well. And since I know them so much better because I'm seeing them every Wednesday, it's just a little bit more connection with that, with their business growth. It's almost like a coaching program, but with marketing and PR mixed in there together and accountability. It's a yummy group. Thank you for that question, Stephanie. I totally didn't even mention that. Um, all right. Any other questions? We have one more minute. No. Okay. Well, I'm doing this again next month, I think. Um, if not, let me see. Actually, no, I will not be doing this this month, next month because I'll be in Portugal with our trip. So it'll probably be a replay, but join me in October. I will be here in October. We can do this again. And if you need anything at all, you can always reach out to us. Hello at femseed.com. By the way, if you need to cancel, it's just a button to cancel. Like we're not like, you don't have to email 500 people to cancel. You can just cancel. And it's like, I, 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 it's easy. So there's no stress again, you know, we've been around for a long time. So we, uh, we run around the block, make it super easy for you. And I, I hope you guys grow and flourish in all ways. Makes me so happy. So, all right. I'm sending you lots of love and I hope your day is wonderful. Anything you need, let us know. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye. 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 Bye.